Hey everybody. <laughs> so, kind of forgot that today was Wednesday, and I, I did soak my lace shawl, and um, and I do have it ready to pin out, but I forgot to grab my blocking wires and my pins out of what used to be my office and is now my husband's office. So I guess I can't do a blocking, a live blocking video. Um, so what I will do is after he's kind of out of his meeting tonight, um, I'll go ahead and pin it all out in a video and I'll just throw it up on YouTube and I'll share it on Facebook. And I'm really sorry. Cause I, like I said, I just, I totally forgot that today was Wednesday and that I needed to go in and get my stuff. And, um, and like I came downstairs, I'm working on the, all this stuff. I'm going to show you. So this is like my big open, um, like atrium downstairs. And what I did was, um, hang on, I'll show you. Let's see if I can, there it is. Uh, so this is, this is like my sewing area now. So this is my downstairs sewing area. So I have my serger set up and I have one sewing machine here and I've got like my table and all my stuff where I sew and then and then I have like <laughs> this is all sorted you know so I've got um like paper scissors up here because you know paper scissors are not the same as your good sewing scissors and then you know on down I just have various things in all of my all of my drawers and um and I sew down here and like I have pattern pieces everywhere because <laughs> I'm I'm doing a ton of sewing right now um because we're kind of doing like a Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthday thing early. And um, yeah, so this is my little sewing area. And, and I'm working with um, some super cute panels. So here's one of my cute little panels that I'm, I'm working with. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry that uh, I didn't get in there um, to, to grab the rest of my blocking stuff. But I will, I promise I will put up a video later on. Um, on how to block that lace piece. But anyway, so this is this is like where I work. And see, I've got like two piles down here of um, pieces that I've started cutting out because I'm making like sort of matchy, but not exactly matchy, matchy shirts for um, the three kids in, in our family because um, there's Ina and then she has um, two cousins. So I have this cute little panel and then there's the Merry and Bright panel and then the third one is this cute little like kitty and mousy um, ice skating. So um, anyway, one of these is going to be, um, I don't know if I'm going to do this one for, I'll probably do this one for Ina since she loves kitties. And I'll do this one for Brie because it's super cute. And then I'll do the Marion Bright for um, Case, which is my little, nest, my little nephew. Um, so anyway, I was like trying to squeak out, this is my sad little attempt to squeak out one more sleeve of this white scrap because, um, what I tend to do is I, um, so I really like buying mystery boxes from knitfabric.com and, um, turning them into fun things down here. And let me see, there's one. I just finished this guy, which turned out really cute. Um, anyway, and it's a little just a little Christmassy shirt pajama top. I don't really know. I just like, I thought it was cute. So I made it. Um, anyway, so that's, that's part of what I've been doing because I know will let me do this. She'll let me sew. She'll let me cut pattern pieces out. She doesn't want me to knit. Um, so I can only knit when she's asleep, which is like right now I could knit, but instead I'm making a video for you guys. Um, although I, like I said, I screwed up. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I didn't manage to, you know, get it done. Um, and I'm actually like, so I, I managed to get five sleeves out of that, like a scrap of leftover white fabric, but I'm having trouble fitting the sixth sleeve on it. It wasn't even a full sleeve. Look, I folded it up. I did the three quarter sleeve. Yeah. So, um, I kind of didn't like lay it out and, and, you know, check all my pieces before I just decided that this is what I was going to do and make everybody match. <laughs> Um, because, you know, well, I'm, I'm still sort of new to garment sewing. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is, this is like my little setup downstairs and now you've seen a little more of my downstairs, um, and what I do, but, um, I can like just keep this set up all the time 
and um, because I have it up high enough, for the most part, Ina stays out of it. Although she does really like, um, turn it back around, but she really likes this thing, um, and she loves pulling the drawers out and like taking all of the thread out of it. And then she has like, this is her little play area, which is super messy right now, but this is her little play area under the stairs where she has like a little kitchen and a little baby doll crib so she can play when I'm down here. Um, and I can like keep an eye on her, but you know, still be, you know, doing my thing. So anyway, like I said, super sorry about the, um, the lack of a blocking video at the moment. Um, but I will, I promise I will put it up later. Um, I'll put it on YouTube. I'll share it to Facebook so you can see it. And, um, and I have done blocking videos already, um, earlier this, earlier this summer. So, you know, that's, that's nothing new. Um, but anyway, let's see, what do I need to tell you? So, uh, hey, don't forget that there's a poncho knit along that Tina's starting and we have kits available on the website. That's blacksheepfiberemporium.com. And, um, what else do I need to tell you? Do, 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 do. Um, Uh, there was something else that was see I can't even remember everything. I know it's terrible Like I write these things down and then I forget to bring my paper with me It's just been that kind of day. I've just I was really tired yesterday I got a lot of stuff done, but I'm really tired. It's like having a hangover from getting too much stuff done Does anybody else have that happen to them? Is it only me? I feel like it's only me I don't know and look my hair looks like oh well, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Um So anyway Yes Monday Monday we are going to um, take another look at tatting and um, I'm making some like cute little snowflakes because I have a friend whose shed burned down. Um, unfortunately, it's a rabbit friend, so all of the rabbits died in the fire. It was very, very sad. Uh, they were her son's rabbits, but she also lost all of her Christmas stuff. So, of course, I'm supporting my friend um, with the terrible tragic loss of his rabbits but I am also um, trying to support Donna and um, and send her a couple of little like Christmas ornaments because I know it's very sad because you know she lost all of her Christmas stuff like and you know she's a grandma so she lost like all of the little ornaments that her grandkids had made her over the last few years and um, and Dylan who lost all his rabbits um, he was the youngest of her kids so you know she lost like all of those it's that's what really gets me it's all those special memories it's terrible that they had lost the rabbits the loss of of any kind of livestock is always heartbreaking but um you know to have that like additional compounding loss of the christmas ornaments and the memories that go with them that's just that's yeah terrible so anyway i'm really glad that monday we were already going to be doing tatting because i am hopefully going to be just uh, showing you some tatting stuff with the tatted ornaments so um there's that and then don't forget next wednesday so a week from today i promise i promise i will actually have kits for you next wednesday um unlike today's slight failure so um usually he doesn't have too many like afternoon meetings and well i screwed up today i just did i can't remember everything my my brain doesn't work like it used to i really honestly i still blame baby brain i used to have a fantastic memory and now it's kind of holy like swiss cheese um Anyway, that's why I make so many lists and I write down so many things, but then I'm so tired that I don't get them done. And that's just kind of the way it is. Um, anyway, so yeah, again, sorry. Sorry about the blocking thing, but um, welcome to my house. And now you got to see like a little more of my space and my creative space and what I've been doing since my kid won't let me, um, you know, knit or tat. Like I can't tat either. I can't tat while she's awake. So I have to knit and tat while she's asleep because she'll like take off running with my yarn or my ball of thread or my needles or whatever. She just takes it, just takes it and run. Hi, Kathy. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, but she does let me sew and I do get some, I, do, I actually get a lot of stuff sewn. Um, let me see if I can, okay, don't go anywhere. You guys stay right there. This is my pile of stuff that I've pretty much made for people for Christmas. So I'm just going to show you this stuff. So I'm sorry you are not getting a blocking video today. Um, so this one, you know, cute little Christmas shirt for my niece. And um, let's see, here's the little Christmas shirt that pretty well matches Ina's, except that it doesn't have the plaid on the back for my nephew. 
And these are super cute little patterns. Um, they're called like a grow with me pattern. So um, you like fold the cuffs up and then they fit longer, which I thought was cool. Uh, let's see, I made pillowcases. So these were fun. Made a cute pillowcase. Made three different pillowcases. Um, so there's the deer. And then uh, this one has sheep on it with the red. And then I did one for my mom because she just loves Christmas. So Christmas, you know, why not? Um, I can take you guys upstairs. I'll show you the fleece. Um, not well because I'm super impatient. I'll tell you that right now, Kathy. I'm so impatient. And so I was like, ah. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to rewash some of my fleece. Oh, and then these little guys, these are super fun. These are little hand warmers. So I made a whole whack ton of these. Ina loves them. Like here's my, here's my box of hand warmers. Loves them. She loves playing with them because they're filled with rice. And so they're fun to play with, right? Uh, here, and then I made this little shirt for my niece. And I made this little shirt for my niece. <laughs> and like I have been really cranking out. See, there's another one. I've been cranking out like all kinds of little sewn stuff. Here's a long sleeved one, a long sleeved one. Clearly I need to make her more long sleeved stuff. I thought I had two long sleeves and two short sleeves. That's an anti fail right there. Um, oh, and then I was making these guys. I love these blankets. Love my raggy blankets. Raggy blankets are so much fun. Um, so I made just like little ones for them. And I know, and you guys are all like, well, wait a minute, don't you, aren't you like a knitting store? Well, yeah. But, you know, when my, um, you know, when my child won't let me knit, <laughs> then I have to find something else crafty to do. And I love her, but when she takes off with your yarn or your needles or your measuring tape or whatever, it gets a little old. Especially when you're trying to count and then you drop stitches and it's a mess. Oh, here, I made super cute little piggy pillowcases for my niece, because she loves pigs. Um, and then here's one I made for my nephew, little E-I-E-I-O. I thought that guy was cute. Turned out really nice. Um, let's see. Oh, and he gets another raggy blanket. Oh, we're almost done. And then here's one of those little, this, uh, so that's the same little shirt, but it has the cuffs folded up so that it looks a lot smaller. Um, but it's supposed to, like, fit them from basically one to three years. And he is a big child. He's a big child. So um, he's already in like 12 month clothes at like seven months. So Oof. anyway, um, but yeah, there. And then that little guy, you know, for him again. And um, I've been sewing mostly with Ellie and Mac patterns. I really like those. Um, except the, the girl with me ones are Apple Tree, I think. She's a gal out of Canada. Um, so. Yes, now you've seen like all of the things that I've been making people for um, like Christmas slash birthdays. Because my niece's birthday is in December, Ina's birthday is the end of the month, uh, so the end of November. And so when we get together, we kind of just try to do like everything all at once so that, um, you know, we don't have to travel as much during the holidays. Because, you know, travel during the holidays is always kind of iffy, especially with the little kids. So anyway, um, yeah, so I did wash the fleece. The neck turned out um, much better than I thought. I actually sent Heather and Danielle a message and I'm like, I think I felted my neck. And they're like, just let it dry, Kelly, just let it dry. And I didn't, I actually did not felt the neck, um, but I really, honestly, I was like, oh my God, I've ruined a part of this fleece. But I didn't, I didn't ruin it, it was okay. And it actually washed really nice and it looks good. Um, but then I started to get impatient because I did that part while I was talking to you guys. So, um, I had something to kind of take my mind off the fact that I was just washing a fleece, which I, I kind of find washing a fleece boring. I mean, you know, it's washing a fleece. So it, it is, it's just kind of boring. Um, so the second piece that I did, the prime, I did a, a decent job on that. I'd say it's about 80 to 90% clean. Um, and I'm prob I don't know that I'll wash it a lot more. There's a few like pieces that I might wash, rewash. Um, but I, I feel confident that I could totally spin the neck and the prime just the way it is. Um, that like armpit area and the hindquarter lower leg area, because I'd separated that, remember, into four pieces, four boxes. Those I was like so done. I was so tired. I didn't want to wash any more fleece, but I'd already set everything up. And so then I didn't want to have to do it again. 
And so then I sort of, I half assed it. I did. So like I washed it. I didn't wash it as well as I should have. So um, those two portions of the fleece will definitely have to be rewashed before I can think about spinning them. But I count that as a win for me because um, you have seven family members with December birthdays, Kathy. Oh my God. Yeah, that's like a... I won't make a comment. Well, I'm going to make a comment. What were these people doing in spring? Were they bored? Did they get snowed in? I mean, we're talking like, you know, February, March-ish here, where they're, hmm, yeah, and then... Anyway, did they get snowed in, Kathy? Is that what happened? Um, do they just really like to have December birthdays? Were they trying for December birthdays? You know what? Never mind. That's very intrusive. Um, Anyway, yeah, so I, I'm very pleased with um, at least the neck and the prime portion, but I definitely have to rewash part of that fleece because, again, I just, like, I got tired. I was, I was bored of washing fleece. I was tired of washing fleece. Um, and you know what? It's still wet. So just a testament to how much um, wool will hold on to water. Um, I think they call that, is that hygroscopic? I never remember exactly, especially my brain doesn't work anymore like it used to. Um, yeah, wool definitely holds on to water. Wool definitely holds on to water. And um, what did I, and I washed that Monday, so it's been almost a full 48 hours since I washed it. And it is still wet. It is still wet. And, um, and I did hang it outside overnight um, on my porch and let it like dry in my big drying rack thing. And, um, and if I remember, I'll try to put a picture up of that. And two separate sides of the family even. Kathy, wow. I'm still like reeling at Kathy's comments here on, on her, all this family that she has that has birthdays in December. That's crazy. Um, anyway, and then I moved it into my plant room because we were supposed to have a super big storm, which we did yesterday. Um, I wasn't home for it, but we had a giant storm. So um, I moved that into the plant room and it's currently drying in there. So where my plant room used to smell like a lovely greenhouse when I walked in, now it smells like wet wool. And I don't find that I don't find that quite as um, lovely of a smell, but maybe that's just me. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Thanks for sticking around. I do apologize again for not having the um, the blocking like ready to go and, and for forgetting to get my stuff out of what used to be my office. So um, anyway, I will see you next Monday and we'll do some tatting and I promise I will I'll take the video um, of me blocking the lace and, and I'll put it up on YouTube and share it on Facebook and it may be tomorrow when it actually goes up, but I promise, I promise I will put it up there and you'll know about it. So anyway, sorry. Um, so I'll see you Monday and remember to, you know, stay self healthy and stay safe and take care of yourself and what do I always say? Mentally, emotionally, physically, all three, you know, areas of your body really important. Think about yourself, you know, take care of yourself, keep crafting, um, don't forget to go you know, shop at Black Sheep Fiber Emporium for all of your Christmas needs. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but no, seriously, people, like, go shop at Black Sheep Fiber Emporium because, um, you know, we won't be around if you don't shop there. So that's, like, kind of an important thing right now. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and don't forget Fridays. Don't forget on Friday to check out Tina's video. So, um, yeah, I will, I'll see you guys later. See you, see you Monday.